My name is Lucas. It starts with L as in like, ends with S as in subscribe. Please do both. And in the meantime, I'm going to compare the different nozzle sizes available for your Bamboo Lab A1. In this video, I'll specifically compare the 0 0.2, 0 0.4 and 0 0.8 millimeter nozzle size. But remember that Bamboo Lab also offers a 0 0.6 millimeter nozzle. And to all of you who have just clicked this video to see these differences side by side and don't really care so much about what I have to say, please just subscribe to this channel and you can stop watching right now because you have already seen all these different comparisons side by side and I don't really have anything more to actually show you from this test. But for everyone else and especially proud new owners of the Bamboo Lab A1 printer I have behind me right here, I highly recommend watching this entire video, uh, not only to hear my personal opinion and my struggles regarding these different nozzle sizes but also when it comes to the actual printing time just as an example it actually took me 10 hours of just trial and error and testing just to get the finished 0.2 millimeter nozzle to print correctly and i will actually cover this in detail and the exact one single setting that i changed to turn this into this finished print. So please stay tuned for that video tomorrow. But in this video, we're only going to talk about the actual final comparison between these different nozzle sizes. But just know that there's so much more to this video that we will actually cover tomorrow. So generally speaking, and maybe also kind of self-explanatory, you normally want a smaller nozzle for smaller prints and a larger nozzle for larger prints, mainly for the purpose of saving time compared to printing with a smaller or the standard nozzle. And with standard nozzle, I am talking about this 0.4 millimeter nozzle. This is the exact same one that you will actually receive together with your Bamboo Lab A1 printer. And before we get too deep into all these comparisons and, and technical analysis, don't feel like you're missing out and that you have to get these other nozzles. I purchased all of these nozzles simply because I knew that I wanted to make comparison videos and mainly for this YouTube channel. But when it comes to my own personal prints, I'm using the 0.4 millimeter nozzle 99% of the time. So there is a reason for why this is the standard included size and if you do go on to maker world and these different printing platforms most of the prints even like what it could be considered like smaller miniature ones are designed for the 0.4 millimeter nozzle but there is one specific reason for why you would want the 0.2 millimeter nozzle uh, which we will talk about a little bit later in this video but on the other hand or in this case on the same hand i guess these nozzles are very affordable ranging between 11 and 13 usd per nozzle and with the bamboo lab a1 specifically it's just ridiculously easy to just quickly swap between the nozzles so it is very little commitment and effort to really unlock a much greater potential of your printer so my recommendation would still be to get an extra set of these different sized nozzles just in case although there actually is no real need for it. Okay, enough talking, let's start with the comparisons. And of course, we are starting with the Benchies. And for this specific print, I'm actually not gonna tell you what is right or wrong. Uh, all the information you see on the screen is, is right, of course, but it's up to you to decide which one of these you should print and if it's worth spending two hours and 33 minutes to print this 0.2 millimeter nozzle when the standard version of 0.4 millimeter is done in 51 minutes and 16 seconds. Or if every single minute is important on your printer then you have the 0.8 millimeter version with 27 minutes and 26 seconds of total print time including all the calibration we have here as well. So as the nozzle size decreases, so also does the line width and the layer height for every single layer in your prints. So for example, if you are using a 0.2 millimeter in comparison to 0.4, it would actually do twice as many height layers as well throughout the duration of the same print. But on the other hand, the printer will make the same type of calibrations and tests before every single print. So you would actually not save any time there if you're using 0.8 versus 0.2. So for shorter prints, which also tends to be the smaller prints, uh, the setup process will be a larger percentage of the overall printing time. So sometimes it doesn't actually make any sense to change to a 0.8 millimeter to save that time and loss in detail. For example, these tiny filament clips, which you might have seen in a previous video here on the channel. If you only print one single one of them at a time, it will take 12 minutes and 36 seconds with the standard 0.4 millimeter nozzle, but still nine minutes and two seconds with a 0.8 nozzle. You probably would never just print one single clip of these anyway, but you get my point. 
Or another example are these modular spool holders. It will be one hour and 37 minutes with the standard nozzle, but actually below one hour with 57 minutes and 53 seconds if you are using the larger 0.8 millimeter nozzle instead. So if the purpose of using 0.8 millimeter is to save you time, why would you even consider getting a 0.2 millimeter? Since again, most of the prints and even these tiny prints on Maker World, for example, are designed for 0.4 millimeter. My personal opinion, if we are comparing these benches, for example, I agree that the 0.2 millimeter is cleaner. I just don't necessarily know if that is better because I personally kind of enjoy seeing these different lines. I'm not sure if that's the, the IKEA effect and just because this is something that <clears throat> I have created uh, and if I would sell these for example to, to customers I don't know if, if they will share my appreciation for the 3d printing art but I kind of feel like it's watching one of these like pencil sketches uh, I wouldn't say it's clean but you can clearly see each an individual stroke or layer in this case which uh, at least I think is pretty cool so you can actually see layer by layer how this benchy was made but again, that's just my personal opinion. If you think that the 0.2 millimeter Benchy is worth one hour and 40 minutes longer print than the standard 0.4 millimeter version, then just go ahead and, and print that. I really could not care less. But where the 0.2 millimeter nozzle is the clear winner and there's literally no discussion, that is when it comes to small texts on prints. So here we have the ultimate 3D printer test with of course the Maker World link down in the description. I don't even know where to start or if we even need to start because uh, absolutely ridiculous. I had no idea that the difference would be this big. Of course this print is specifically designed to show maybe not the difference between different nozzles but the difference between different uh, calibration settings of your printer for example. But when you do make this test it is uh, uh, ridiculously clear why you might consider getting a 0.2 millimeter printer uh, definitely instead of a 0.8 millimeter which uh, which is just ridiculous uh, I should also mention that for the 0.8 millimeter uh, this overhang here broke off literally before it got off the the plate for the purpose of the b-roll and, and for this video I have actually glued these parts together so it just looks nicer but uh, just know that that 0.8 millimeter is is just absolutely useless and uh, yeah just just waste of a filament which of course I am happy to sacrifice for you since you have been so kind to subscribing to my channel and since we don't have any channel sponsors yet I just wanted to take this time to reach out to maybe Isan or Sunlu or or any other filament provider that might want to help me to make more comparison videos just like this one but yeah, I'll just let these videos speak for themselves and just focus on 0.2 versus 0.4. But again, just know that this 0.2 millimeter print is not straight out of the bamboo studio. It took me 10 hours to, to just actually figure out that one setting that I had to change. So uh, yeah, again, subscribe, click the notifications and see you back tomorrow for more in-depth uh, analysis about this specific print. I will, however, save these specific prints for the next couple of weeks. So if you have any more print related questions, just let me know and I will try to make any measurements available and put them down in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Lucas. It starts with L as in like, ends with S as in subscribe. Please do both and see you all tomorrow.